two. Although, I don't even know what episode Real Mutt's on right now. I never do. I do want to apologize. Last episode had some recording issues. I think I got them ironed out here. But also, this is the last Wheel of Mutt I'm doing with my travel setup. So, we'll be back in business soon enough. I got my basic white girl drink. Okay. The gas station classic. Bro, these bust down so hard. I got my breakfast. Shabani breakfast smoothie. And a banana. But guys, have I ever shown you guys how I can deep throw a banana? Oh, save it for another time. Today, we need to worry about getting another W. Last episode, I know it was discombobulated. I do apologize. Technology is difficult enough, especially when you try to like record on a mobile setup like this, but we're making it work. The alternative is I don't post nearly as often as I do, and I want you guys to get heaters damn near every day. As of right now, our record is three and two, which means we're two wins away from a playoff berth, and we're one loss away from being sent home, resetting this entire team, and starting a brand new season. Now, I really don't want to do that. Also, this is a random thought that popped in my head, but what would you guys think of a double or nothing grand finale where I did an entire season of double or nothing in one video? It randomly popped in my brain. I wanted to see what you guys think, so let me know if you want to see that. I only ask because it's going to take eight hours, so if you guys don't want it, I'm not recording that shit. Either way, dude, I think if we can iron out this offensive line and make the playoffs, this will undoubtedly be one of my favorite Wheel of Mutt teams actually of all time. We've got Alvin Kamara, a halfback who can get Texas routes. We've got Justin Fields, who is absolutely insane, so fast, so dominant, can throw a ball anywhere. And one of my favorite cards of all time, the Nigerian Nightmare fullback. We've also got 93 Jay Jettis, as we know is insane. We got Mike Kosicki. He's not my favorite tight end of all time, but he's solid. Then on defense, we got Micah Parsons, Troy Palomalu, Champ Bailey, Rebus Island. It's a dope team. Unfortunately, our power-up player, Ed Reed, though, we're five games in. I haven't gotten him an upgrade. Now, granted, I did miss it for the first two episodes, because I'm an idiot, so realistically, we're three games in. But I have really struggled to get Ed Reed his upgrades. We had a similar issue with Steve Atwater, but eventually I made some monster plays with Steve Atwater and we got back in the game. We'll give it some time. I'm not gonna be antsy as of right now. Ed Reed is getting the job done and it's a power-up player. I'm not guaranteed an awesome version. I have to earn it. All right, baby, let's get our wheel spin in. Tino's spending all these years behind bars. So we're gonna make the playoffs for my mans. Come on, baby. Come on! Ooh! This is a sick one with how dope my backfield is. This is very realistic, but I gotta work on that old line. So 100 rush yards doesn't matter if it's quarterback, fullback, halfback, who gets it doesn't matter. So if I get between zero and 99, I get nothing. 100, 199, I get five. 200 to 299, I get 10 packs. So we'll have to wait on that one. All right, doesn't help us right now, but that's okay, this team is actually Decently filled out. I'm just hoping that this wheel spin can give me a right guard. Oh! Damn, okay. It is a bummer because there are awesome 90 overall campus heroes. There's actually a lot of awesome campus heroes, but they definitely have a right guard. I think it's Will Shields, but the big campus heroes, there's Ricky Williams, Michael Crabtree, Derek Johnson, I think, but none of those are good options right now. Yeah, Derek Johnson, there's Jim Taylor, and this right here is exactly who we're looking for. Will Shields, 40K, 87 overall right guard. Our team needed that bad. And I apologize, I turned off my recording. Let's see, we got on our third and final. Dude, I feel like a beauty vlogger with this shot. But hey, as long as we get a heater. Ooh! Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorite wheel spins of all time. House rules dubs times 30K. There is house rules right now, thanks to the Harvest promo. I'm just gonna play. If I lose my first game, I literally get nothing. If I win the first game, it's 30K and keeps adding 30K for every win after that. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significant significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you. And you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link at the top of the description. Ooh, they updated this. Last time I played this house rules, they didn't even have the tug of war thing at the top. Reminds me of Superstar KO. Dude, Justin Jefferson's impressed coverage. Dude, fuck man coverage. Can I get there? Nope, his user is there. There's nobody open, dude. All you gotta do is run man coverage and I can't do a damn thing. I'm on that. Ooh. Jefferson whip route. Oh my God, he torched him. Oh, Camara. If Camara gives a better block there, I actually have a shot. Let's see what he goes for here. Just throws middle, makes a nice pass. All right, I've got one play. 
Wow, we needed that, bro. I could have walked away with nothing. I'm gonna run this ball left side of a very strong run game. Oh my God, wait a minute. Okoye with a pancake? I could have ran that even better. I might've been able to touch down that. Oh, a run of his own, but Palomalu is there. See what he's in? Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run man. I'm gonna see what happens here. I know whip routes are pretty strong against the man coverage. Yep. Especially Jay Jettis, because he's so, oh, good blocks! Good downfield blocks, Camara. I think we should be able to stop that. I'm surprised he keeps going to the run. I mean, it worked last time, but I don't know. He's got to get more yards in there. I think I can hit Gasicki. Gasicki! Great route, baby. We're fighting the man coverage. I'm just going to try and get to the quarterback. Hopefully, Micah Parsons can get there. No, he just can't get to the 50. W, let's go, baby! Michael Vick is dialing something up. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, champ! Oh! Champ Bailey almost got to it. Nice laser. Don't know what I'm gonna want here. Oh, that's open. Maybe. Oh, hit that window again. All right, I'm hoping he goes Claypool again. I'm just gonna lurk it. Did he just highball me? Well, you know what? That's actually poetic justice because I lost somebody for my first win. All right, that's okay. That's two wins. 60K to spend on one player. So 60K for a right tackle. I'm going to get someone probably just like Will Shield. There's not a single 88 overall right tackle in the entire game. Who makes this game? There is 87 Panay. Oh, I could get two campus. I could get two campus heroes. I've had this Panay Sewell on like so many occasions, but that's my guy, bro. He's a, he's a Detroit Lion. I got to take him once more. Here we go, baby. Right tackle Panay. So I added two campus heroes. Campus legends, whatever it's called. That's actually awesome. So now my offensive line is 85, 70. 89, 87, 88. And we get five packs for every 100 rushing yards in this game. We are now an 87 overall with a stacked offense and a slightly not so stacked defense. 88, 0, 86, D. Our top three is nasty. I'm ready for the game. We do, of course, have the challenge wheel. I fell very, very far short last episode, but that's okay. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration. I was almost there. Our challenge wheel today is 12 receptions. Oh, no. He's got that prime time. It's all right. We can fight through this. Look at that top three, baby. 12 receptions. I don't like this. You know why? Because 100 rushing yards is five packs, but my challenge wheel is 12 receptions. Now, the challenge wheel, obviously, is worth only one pack. So let's do some simple math here. Let's prioritize the rushing yards, and then we can worry about the 12 receptions after that. I'm going to use a Rebus Island like an absolute psychopath. I've got a box like a... Nope. I don't unbox like shit, dude. He threw a fucking laser on me. I thought he was boxed. I'm on it. I'm on it this time. Oh, we're so close. He hit me with that same thing twice. Dude, that is a demon play. Holy shit. That did not take him long. Although, again, this is just like last episode. If I can figure out this one thing, he has to change his whole offense. I'm fine with that. Ooh, he's got a lot of people down there. I don't know if I trust this anymore. Oh my God, do I trust it? Let's go. Easy five yards. I'm gonna hit him with a play action now. I'm gonna hit Kamara out the backfield. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Keep it simple. This guy is gonna hate seeing eye formation after today. I'll tell you that much. Let's get it, baby. Go block Okoye. I don't even know what happened there, but that's 12 yards. Still in linebacker, dogs. He doesn't know what I'm going to hit him with. Oh! Pony up! Get off of me! Come in, oh! Let's go! What a run! Don't you dare. Don't you dare! Oh, my God! What? It, it, it wasn't that brutal? That was a true fucking rage quit. Hit start, end game, concede game, out of there. Dude, the guy I said skill issue to said what? You know what? I'm going to be honest though. Saying what question mark might be the best response to somebody talking shit to you on the internet because I don't feel like I got him at all now. He got me. He got me. Dude, I can't believe this guy quit though. Profile pictures Justin Fields too. That run from Camaro was one of my best of all time. And formerly 
finally and officially, I am gonna reinstate the rule that if we get a rage quit, we are entitled to an upgrade for our power up player. I mean, that's really good for us. Everything that just happened is really good for us, but Ed Reed got completely completely screwed there. There's no possible chance for Ed Reed to get an upgrade if the guy's gonna quit that fast. So we will give Ed Reed his first available upgrade. Also, that kind of claps our challenge wheel too. There was no way for me to get. Dude, that claps a lot of things. It clapped my wheel spin, 100 rushing yards for five packs. I couldn't get that. That is a bummer. Although we do get a win, we lock in our players and we get the rage quit wheel. So I feel like it kind of evens itself out. So Ed Reed is now an 84 overall. He has two more speed already, which is actually crazy. He was at 86 speed, 84 excel, now he's 88, 86, nasty. Hopefully that little bit of speed will let him get an interception in an upcoming game. And I'm really sorry, you guys. I normally might go play another game, but the next game, I'm now four and two, which means I'm one game away from either playoffs or one game away from losing. It's win or go home. I think I will have to end this video off early, but we do have the Rage Quit Wheel. And you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna pull rank here. I'm also opening a pack. I had an opportunity to get a pack from the Challenge Wheel and five packs for my wheel spin and I didn't get any of them. I'm gonna open one pack. Oh, and by the way, the challenge wheel in the playoffs where I can get training packs, there's an 89 plus overall AKA player. So I need to complete the challenge probably in the first round of the playoffs. That'd be awesome. All right, Elite Legends pack. This is my one pack. Uh, let's see if it's got any sauce in it for us. I actually, Loki, I would take a kicker. If there wants to be a kicker in here, I wouldn't be mad at all. Christian Wilkins, I don't know if he helps us. Emmett Smith, I don't think he helps us. Ooh! 88 Keekly? All right, wait a minute. I think 88 Keekly is a nasty pull for us. All right, defense. Yeah, because we got Dre Greenlaw at right outside linebacker and Lawrence Taylor. How is Keekly as an outside linebacker? Oh, he's better as an outside linebacker? Oh my God, he's nasty. We got Keekly, Van Der Esch, and Micah Parsons. I do, you know what I still need on this team though? I need an elite edge rusher. Obviously, Micah Parsons is one of them, but Michael Strahan, I should definitely try and get a 90 plus right there. All right, range quit wheel. And we're out of here, baby. Nice game, gentlemen. Dude, that was so awesome. I, can, I really can't believe we got that to happen. Let's see what it is. Our, our, ooh. 86 jackpot, so any 86 overall player in the game. I say we take kicker, right? My kicker right now is Katie York, and that's just so scary. Yeah, let's take a kicker. I could get left guard also, but I mean, we just ran the ball kind of like crazy, like three or four plays. Let's go with kicker. We can worry about left guard, right end, all that stuff the next one. And you know what's good news? I think Justin Tucker's base kicker card is an 86. I'm really hoping. There's a chance there's no 86 overall kicker. Ooh, yes. So Harrison Buck. Tucker's 86, Justin Tucker is 86. J Tuck's the GOAT, dude. This is the greatest kicker of all time. I'm going J Tuck. Does he get any abilities? I feel like he does not. No, he doesn't. It's kind of weird how that works. Justin Reed's 83 overall gets one, but he doesn't. Either way, he's a beast. He's gonna kick further. He's gonna kick further and more accurate by far. That's a big rage good wheel pickup. We also added Luke Keekly and two essential pieces to the O-line. This was a massive episode. This was a very important episode. Got our dub. We moved to four and two, which means we are one win away from the playoffs. Oh, that's so scary. We had one of the most heartbreaking losses of all time in the second game of the season. So if if we can really come back, go to the playoffs, make it to the Super Bowl, and win, historic season. Either way, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'm sorry I got cut short, but still a heater, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!